evaluate the integration of under root of sin x minus a over sin x plus a. If you have a question without the square root, it is one of the simple questions. But with this square root, it becomes a typical question. So let's solve this question. Now, what we will do in solving this question, we will rationalize. We will multiply and divide by sine of x minus within the root. Now, this sine x minus a into sine x minus a will turn to whole square and it will come out of the square root. But the denominator will stay like the way it is. Now, do you remember the formula that sine a plus b into sine a minus b is sine square a minus sine square b? So, in the denominator, we will apply this formula. Instead of expanding product to sum, we will apply this formula sine a plus b into sine a minus b as sine square a minus sine square b. And in the numerator, we'll open sine a minus b. So that will come as and now separate this into two parts and do not forget to write constant outside. So the first part is this. And the second part is in this sine a will come outside. Now I'm taking this entire thing as I1 and this thing as I2. Now I1. For I1, you can see that in the numerator we have sine x and in the denominator also we have sine square. So it is very important to convert sine squares to cos squares. So just see what I'm writing. And from junior classes you know that sine square a minus sine square b is nothing but cos squared a minus sine square b. Now can you see that it is so simple because you can put cos x is equal to t. Now put cos x is equal to t and the derivative will be minus sine x dx is equal to dt. So this thing will come as minus cos a and you remember a sine x dx will convert to minus dt. So we have put minus here cos a dt over. So this is the special integral for sine inverse of x by a plus some constant. So the answer will come as minus cos a sine inverse of t over cos a plus the first constant and the value of t if you remember is cos x. Now we come to the second part. I'm writing i2. This part is simple because you can simply put sine x is equal to y. We have already taken t, so we are using y. And directly you can capture cos x dx as dy. So we are changing the respect.
and this is a special integral of the type and you remember that is log mod x plus under root of x square minus e square plus some constant I'm using that constant as k2 therefore the answer will be sine a log mod y plus under root of y square minus sine squared a plus the second constant and you remember what is y it is log mod and the final answer will be i equals i1 minus i2 so the answer to this question is i equals minus times of sin a log mod sin x plus under root of sin square x minus sin square a plus c where c is c1 minus c2 so you can solve this question though it was a little typical question but you know that you can easily solve this question thank you very much keep watching more videos and sharing them thank you